Overture resident Jan Weber, a wonderful artist, and she's going to be telling our community manager, Xavier Neff, about this particular art. So, what were you comparing this this video to? I was I was telling Jan here. Now we both love Antiques Roadshow. We were watching it the other day on her TV, and so now here we are being interviewed. And I thought, hey, this is our own Overture <laughs> Antiques Roadshow. So this is an original piece by Jan. Can you tell us a little bit about tell this one? Yes, um, I started painting in uh, Arizona, uh, and um, my daughter and I went. She found a lady that was doing some art classes, and she said, "We're going." So I followed her like a little lamb. You know, okay, we're going. <laughs> Had you been an artist prior to that? No. Oh my goodness. Okay. No. Well, it, uh, yes, in a way, I always was. A little artistically in kind, but I never picked up a paintbrush or thought, oh, I'm going to paint that picture, you know. And after you get introduced to this, it's like it's in your mind. And when we first came to Texas, all the flowers were in bloom along the freeway. And I said to my daughter, you got to stop. I got to take a picture of the blue bonnets, you know. And it seems like as you go through life, you see different things or a, a happening and you think, gee, I'd love to paint that, you know, it would be fun. And once you get started, it's like addictive. I mean, I have been up in my kitchen in Arizona painting and my husband comes tromping down the hallway saying, do you know what time it is? It's one o'clock in the morning. I say, yeah, okay. <laughs> But it's, it, it, it captures you, and I think it's a, it's a great time for me to go back to this because of COVID, you know, and I think that that will release my mind and my anxieties because you, you just get fully into it, you know, you put yourself in that situation. So it's, it's fun. Uh, I, I never think about selling anything. As a result, I've had paintings stacked under the bed in the guest room, you know. <laughs> uh, there's no we run out of wall space. <laughs> well, we had a lot of fun um, yesterday and today with all the artists that are just playing. So, as, Xavier, you're an artist as well. Tell me what you've enjoyed about this weekend. Um, I didn't know we had so much talent in our community. I am blown away. Now, I knew we had some artists here, but nothing like what we've seen today. I mean, like, Jan's piece is a great example. This is spectacularly done, and um, it just shows how wonderful our residents are and how multifaceted they are. And they're obviously having fun because you can hear them in the background, and we'll do a few other interviews, but I'm going to just go ahead, Jan, and pan on a few of your other pieces, okay? And maybe you could tell us, do you have names for your pieces? Not really. Not really. Oh, no. Is this somebody you know? No. <laughs> no. Although I have a great-grandson in Oregon who's a year old, my, my granddaughter, his mother, uh, puts him on the horse with her in front of her, and he's one year old. I remember the story. That's why I was yeah. wondering if that was... The... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so well, all of your work is this beautiful. This is going to Oregon to him. So I think him that's know. perfect. Now you also, when I asked you what was your favorite, you said maybe this one was your favorite. Do you have a story behind this? No, but I have a story that's recent. Linda came down and looked at it. She said, did you sneak into my bathroom and take that picture of me? I said, yes, it was a long time ago because your hair was really dark. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm going to show you a few of the things, but um, I do have one more of Jan that I want you to see. Jan, we all want to walk up these staircases that you're showing us. I know. I, know. <laughs> I have that feeling about this one, you know. Where's this one going? It's just going up, and uh, this is, like I said, Arizona influenced uh, yeah. because I started there, and I was just enthralled with them. So is this one of your early pieces? Yeah. Most beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. Well, thank you for stopping. This is artist Pete Campos, and he's participating in the Overture Stone Oak 
um, resident art ex exhibition. And uh, with him today is another resident, Debbie Foster. And I heard him giving an explanation of his art and his display. So I thought, let's get this on tape. So this is Pete. Hi. Hi, and Debbie. So I'm going to come around and um, tell us what we're seeing today. I, I love his daisies, and I'm like, yeah. I love daisies anyway. So I was telling Debbie that uh, my daughter had a daisy painting, and I told her, let me do some more for you. So at least now you have a group of paintings, and that's what these are. And I added, uh, she loves butterflies, so I added mm -hmm. some butterflies as well, and. Um, I had to steal them back from her because <laughs> she the had show. them and she didn't want to give them up, but I told her, I got a show and this is one of the ones that I did. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. To and me, daisies myself. are such a happy flower. Oh yeah. They're just, okay, them. you can see yourself right now. I consider myself the weekend artist <laughs> because I still work part time and I just enjoy doing some of the work on um, weekends. And if you notice, I really do little paintings because I have a little desk and I don't have room to do big paintings. Not, not really, but um, I enjoy doing little miniature paintings. It's, it's fun for me. They're, they're done real quick. And um, it's just stuff that I kind of happen to see on the internet. And, I do most of them from photos, and I just uh, love uh, painting. It's a really easy uh, sometimes for me to enjoy and uh, pass the time. Uh, and my wife encourages me mm -hmm. a lot. So I think it's great. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. So I, I know that there are a lot of artists out here. I am very surprised at the quality of work that they do. So. Thank God for the fact that we have such good friends and neighbors that enjoy art. And uh, hopefully everybody will get a chance to see their work as well. And Pete, what's your career? I'm an architect. That's what so I was thinking. It kind of yeah. relates to the fact that um, I enjoy sketching mm -hmm. and um, painting. And some of my work kind of relates to that. The, Doors That's what I'm looking at this because this is a beautiful display here. The graphics. Love that. Yeah, this gives you an our, a real creative outlet that might go beyond the bounds of your architectural true, work, right? True. I, I, again, uh, Adela, my wife, said, why don't you spend some of your time that now you don't have a house to cut grass and <laughs> mow and uh, enjoy your work. And um, sure enough, I took her up on that and I really do enjoy uh, the paintings that I do. Some of them are for friends, uh, others are just for my own personal enjoyment and uh, a few I have sold. Um, but more important is just the, the fun uh, as you see these yes i was gonna photos. say tell us these are these are overture uh canine residents this they is are. izzy and this is buster yeah and this is abigail right. now who's this down here that's sparky oh it is sparky i see that i know everybody loves it. i've already heard residents say i'm gonna see if he'll paint my dog yeah, i already have some people wanting i uh, think you've been commissioned I'm, I'm happy to do it i think them, it's great so. thank you for participating in the oh, show thank you judy have a great day Bye -bye. this is margaret evans and she's one of our artists at our overture stone oak art exhibition today and i'm just panning some of these that are her art but come tell us about the book debbie hi debbie um, Debbie's Hi. been looking through her book, <laughs> so um, yes. Excuse me, you're right. Debbie's admiring your book. Tell us about your book, well, Margaret. I started painting in 2007, and I have a website, but I wanted. To, I thought, well, when I die, the website's going to die, and so I put all my paintings from 2007 to 2018 in this book, and then I gave it for Christmas. Oh, Christmas what family. a lovely gift. Well, you're going to have to do a volume two. Yes, but I don't quite have enough. <laughs> you will. Half as many as I need. They're beautiful. What What is your art technique? What do you, what media Water do you? Color. 
watercolor, but I didn't start painting until after I retired. Is that right? Yeah. I think that's one of the coolest things. You know, we're active adults here, and it's cool to, to learn that you're, did you know you had this time? Did you always no. have, what made you start? Um, we bought a new house, and I wanted to put some uh, flower pictures in the, uh, in the house. Come over yeah. here, because I'm getting sun. Okay. Right there. Okay, so you what? Now you had a house. I went with flower uh, paintings in the half bath because they were, you know wallpaper was out uh -huh. at the time, and so I took these lessons at the botanical garden oh, from at NEISD. The yeah, that's well, very it was, cool. It was an NEISD yeah um, uh, instructor. That's same I one, love that same one that she had. Okay, <laughs> and so that, yeah, these, I did this one in class. I did that one in class, and so uh, the first couple of times I thought, oh my God, I'm never going to be able to do this. And look at it now. And about the third or fourth, I thought, maybe. <laughs> well, I know that one of the things that residents enjoy is that they sometimes buy cards from you. Yes, I, I keep them kind of small. That way I can put them on a scanner and they're I think on the it's computer beautiful. and mm -hmm. I can do anything with them I want. Well, that's a great way to share because a lot of us are, don't have extra wall space, but we'd love right. a piece. Right. So. Yeah, right. And then, you obviously like all different kinds of flowers. I did nothing but flowers for about five or six years. But look, look at this beautiful bird. Now, what made you do that? Tell that's me about a, the bird. That's a Quetzal. I saw that one in, uh, uh, I think it was Honduras. I can't remember if it was Guatemala or Honduras. And so I wanted to uh, be sure to paint one of those. Oh, that's wonderful. They're kind of like fairy tales, you know? Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Well, you've got beautiful work, and we're so glad that you're participating in our show today. Oh, there's our, you know, we miss our blue bonnets this this year, you think they're? I haven't seen very many because they were out already. I don't know. Anyway, well, we're very glad. And again, this is Margaret Evans. Thank you, Judy. You're wonderful. Thanks. <laughs> This is artist David Mamer, and um, he's participating in the Overture Stone Oak Resident Art e Exhibition, and he's demonstrating his beautiful calligraphy work. So you're trying new pins, you were saying? Yes. Someone just gave me some um, pins that they didn't think they'd be using, so I'm trying their, new, their different type pins to me, and so I'm just trying different ones out and seeing was, how, they, how they work. That's what I was wondering. That's really cool. All right. Well... David does a whole lot of different types of art and absolutely beautiful and so I'm gonna let you stand up and this is this is his wife Terry say hello Hi. I want you to stand up and tell us about your work <laughs> you can just tell me the technique tell me about this one this looks like a place I want to be where is this this is in Leavenworth Washington State oh okay is that a ski resort Mm, well, they have ski skis around, but the town itself isn't. What a beautiful town! Terry can tell you more. This is Terry's favorite okay. favorite place. Well, so let's Terry go ahead and yeah. You know, let's talk about. I want I want to make sure we get this one. I put on Facebook. Come over here, because um, it's gotten a lot of great comments. This is one of your newer pieces, isn't this it? The most recent. Yeah, I did this for Terry for. Oh man, present. that is just. Look at the love in those eyes that is so amazing how long did it take you to do this Dave well <laughs> I worked on it for almost two years but it not constant work uh, in fact um, in those two, uh, year and a half two years I I went for several months without even touching it but um, I told her it was a Christmas present and Christmas the first Christmas went by and <laughs> So I kind of let it set. I tell her I didn't say what year Christmas, but anyway, <laughs> the next Christmas I, I, I got it. Well, it's Christmas. an absolute treat. Now, I know you were telling me about the classics, so tell me about this set right here. Okay. I'm going to show all three of them. Actually, I'm going to show what you've got, okay? Okay, when I, I was stationed in Germany, I met a, a German art teacher, and he taught the old master technique. It's a special way of painting. Um, uh, Rembrandt, Rubens, all the great uh, old-time artists painted this way, and he taught this. That's so. That's one of the reasons I took the class. This painting here is the first one that I painted in the old master technique. Wow! Um, it's a copy of Vermeer, painted in 1650 by Johannes Vermeer, and this is another Vermeer. View um, Delft is called. Um, 
And then this one is a copy of uh, the Tillage, also painted in the 1600s. It's and you had been telling me about your apple pie, and uh, it does make me want to go <laughs> buy an apple pie. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Yep, you can see the, the sweat glasses. Do I see that? See the water drop I on do. the apple? I do, I do. It's great. Do you have to pick a favorite, David, or you enjoy everything you do? Look at this one right here. That's just a pencil sketch. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I think I got that postcard that I took it off, huh? Oh, all right. It's so dramatic. It's just pencil. Another picture of the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for participating in the art show. I know we'll have to be, we'll be doing this again. It's been a huge success. Right. And everybody's really enjoyed seeing your work. Thank okay. you. I'll be talking with you about some other possibilities. Perfect, thanks. This is Overture resident Donna Grunberg. And um, Donna, you call your work spiritual art. Yes. Tell me how you, is that a concept that you've developed or is that a, a, an I'm art form? I'm sure it's some kind of art form, but it's what I call my work because I'm inspired to do it okay. by spirit, by spirit. It's very good. Now, you, I, I love that you work in a lot of different sizes for sure. And um, this one, we've taken a lot of pictures next to it because <laughs> it's been so beautiful. But um, tell me about some of your pieces. Now, this one was interesting because tell me about this. I love water. I love being at the ocean. And since mm -hmm. I can't be at the ocean right now, I decided to paint it and have it in my living room so I can look at it. Because you were also saying that's dirt, that's sand on the beach. This is sand. This is sand. Yeah. So give it texture. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I love that you do a lot of small pieces because a lot of times people just want something on a shelf or something right, to give right. it. And especially if they know the artist, it makes it that much more special. Yes. So tell us about this. This one? Sure. Okay, this is Ganesh. He's an elephant headed god. He's a hit from he's Hindu. And he removes obstacles. And he's very loving kind God and that's protection the Hamsa is protection it's Middle Eastern Mediterranean you find them in Greece Israel all around the middle of the Mediterranean Ocean and they'll have them up for protection I'm, I'm gonna try to pan but I want to hear you so I'm gonna okay. right. uh, maybe I'll come come follow with me okay, okay. you can come behind and uh, that way I'm gonna because I want to hear you. And this again, this is Donna. Yes. Okay. And that's an angel that appeared and said, paint me. So did. <laughs> <laughs> they pop in my head and I go, okay. <laughs> paint. And that's, of course, Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's one of my guides. Of course. <laughs> oh, look at the cat. Yes, that's uh, Kathy's cat. All right. And every time I went up to see her, she said, paint me and give me a tiara. Oh. <laughs> I was royalty in Egypt. You should all remember that. <laughs> I love that. Oh, the colors are so beautiful, Donna. Thank Just you. everything. Yes. Thank you very much. Now look back here. Okay, those are the star people. And oh wow, the three D, and I hope you, um, those who are watching this, can see the dimension yeah. in this. Yeah, um, they're from the Pleiades, and they're the watchers from the Bible, and they just stand around and watch what fools we make of ourselves. <laughs> and they try to teach about love. Okay, I was gonna say because they they have a bigger purpose than that. Oh yeah, and that's just beautiful. The moon is my planet. That's my planetary symbol. Well, I think it's saying good night to us. Okay. And thank you, thank you so much for participating. This thank has just been a beautiful much. show. Thank, thank you, you so much. for having it. This is Diane Clamp, an overture artist, and she's been participating the last few days in our art ex exhibition. And you know, art comes in so many different forms, and Diane is a true artist because she's got different techniques. Tell me what you're working on, Diane. It's a quilling picture. 
I've got an idea to do a, a picture of a spiral galaxy, so I'm starting oh. making the pieces for it now. So I'm going to just watch you for a minute on how you're doing this. Okay. I'm just putting these out here to kind of get an idea of how they look mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. and, uh, on a piece of paper, I would glue them down when I'm ready. And I'll show some of the things that you've got here. Love all your different colors and just different sizes. Oh, and I see that little Christmas tree is adorable. So this time you know what you're working on before you start. Is that always the case? Because somebody said that sometimes you just sit, like in your apartment, you'll make the circles and then you'll figure out what you're going to do with it. Is that the case sometimes or do you always know what you're doing? Sometimes. Usually I have an idea of where I want to go, but sometimes I'll just make some because, you know, just keep my hands busy. Yeah. But uh, I got this idea last night when one of the guys here was uh, visiting. He did, uh, he did pictures of galaxies and so forth, and I got to thinking about something last night. So that's what I'll do. I'll I think it's great. Day. How did, did are you self-taught? Did you go to a class here in San Antonio? How did you learn about quilling? I self-taught wow. and YouTube. I was going to say YouTube. YouTube. YouTube, yes. I watch YouTube a lot. I got some good ideas from YouTube. So is that how you spent your COVID vacation? <laughs> <laughs> that and reading yes well but you're not limited this is kind of a new art um, technique that you've been enjoying but before that you've been doing a lot of woodworking and I want to show that this is one of my favorite pieces the raccoon mm -hmm. and this just beautiful and then you were telling me that you've been doing woodworking for many years yes so tell us about your woodwork. Well, uh, where I used to live, I had a, a woodworking shop. I okay. had all the saws and the sanders and the, you know, drills and all of that. And I would just, if I needed a shelf, I would make it. If I needed a table, I'd make it. I love it. And then when I got tired of it, I'd take it apart and build something else with the wood. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I just love, I love to work with my hands. I love to make things. And I would, do, I would draw up what I needed and then I would make it well it's a gift and you're experiencing it but you said you you're waiting for the sun for the weather to get just a little bit warmer because you want to work on your balcony so you do your woodworking on the balcony yes pretty much uh but i do have to do the wood burning on the balcony because yeah. of the fumes and uh, mm -hmm. uh but i'm just waiting until it gets nicer and i can go out there and work yeah i do beautiful. i enjoy wood burning it's uh, it's a lot of fun and it's yeah. it's fast you can get something done very quickly well, you do beautiful work, and I know you've even taught uh, classes here. What what was the paper, what was that technique that you taught one time? Uh, it was some kind of paper folding, a paper star. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. It's not origami. No, it wasn't no. origami. It was just making uh, different kinds of paper stars with strips of paper. Yeah, well, we had a together. ball doing it, so thank you for that. We'll have to get you to do some demonstrations again. Anyway, thank you for participating in the art show. It's really been fun. I have learned a lot. Isn't Thank that you great? For inviting me. You betcha.